It was built in 1912, and it was South Carolina's first indoor mall. But if you're even walking too fast, the white-on-white -white carved Italian terracotta sign that reads Equitable Arcade is easy to miss. We have plans to try to put a directory sign of sorts on, in the front in the entryway just to sort of help draw people into the building because it's uh, not immediately obvious who is in here when you walk by. The building is now being renovated, making rooms for restaurants, shops, and offices. I'd love to see a you know, wine craft beer bar in here. Um, you know, maybe a nail salon would be great in here. But it's the basement of the arcade mall that often draws the attention of the more curious, where there's another world, a subterranean vestige of a failed underground nightlife. It was a series of bars and restaurants literally underground in Columbia, and today we have an all-access pass to Down Under Columbia to talk about what it was, what it is, and what it could become. From its opening, there are mostly just rumors of how the basement was used, horse stables and ice storage among them. Despite the fact that there is good information about the improvements that were done, there is no indication as to exactly how uh, this area of the building was used from 1912 until the early 70s. And then a new idea began to take shape. Here at Down Under Columbia, you had at least temporarily during the 1970s, a place where you could go and have an experience from live music to really good food, singing, dancing, all things that uh, you'd expect out of, a, of, out of a good restaurant and, and several good watering holes. But what started out as an idea of fun and entertainment would not last. Some people said that it was uh, the fact that many, many people were not coming downtown as much for entertainment. Some people said that uh, on Main Street there was at least a perception of heightened crime. Other people claimed that Part of it was potentially mismanagement on the part of some of the uh, proprietors. And after just a few short years of operation, Down Under Columbia was shut down. Thirty-some years later, the entire basement level now wears the scars of time and neglect. This once lively night scene giving way to deteriorating floorboards, moldy carpet, and one broken down wood frame trolley car. But the Equitable Arcade, along with its infamous underground, is poised for change. With ownership changing hands in recent years, there are some signs of new life and hopes of bringing the basement out of the darkness. Well, we'd love to get a tenant in the basement. It's just going to come down to finding a tenant that wants to make that commitment to be in the basement and negotiate all the hurdles that are going to come with occupying it. And maybe, just maybe, what is old could become new again. I, for one, find it a fascinating journey uh, into Columbia's past. And I love the fact that it, uh, it still lives on. It lives on in people's memories. It lives on in essentially kind of a catacomb down here underneath the arcade mall. Um, and hopefully, maybe in the future, whenever that future may be, um, you'll see a revitalized down under. Chris Delcamp, News 19, WLTX.